Hey guys, this is a Coinbase wallet tutorial. The Coinbase wallet is separate from the Coinbase app. It's a decentralized wallet that you can basically put all of your coins in and take self custody of them. So transfer them out of the Coinbase app. You can put them on the blockchain and then use loads of decentralized applications and basically have self custody of your uh, coins. So I'm gonna show you how to get them in there, send them out and then use applications on there. Timestamps for each section are in the video description. Other links to Coinbase and some other helpful videos I'll leave down there as well. So obviously go and download the app on your phone, uh, either Android or iOS, you can you can do that. Um, and then it's gonna take you through to set up. Now I've already set up a wallet, so I don't have these steps to show you live, but this is what happens, right? So you go and create the new wallet. Now, if you've already got an Ethereum based wallet on MetaMask or another provider, that Ethereum wallet can be loaded onto Coinbase wallet, right? Because all wallets are actually on the blockchain and this is just an app to view the wallet. So if you have an existing wallet and you have a recovery phrase, choose import existing wallet. If you don't, then just create a new wallet. Um, obviously put your you know biometrics in or a password, choose a username. Now, this is something that people can use to send you coins in the Coinbase ecosystem. If someone else has a Coinbase wallet, they can search for you via your at, um, and then send like that. They don't have to have your long wallet address. So choose a username, you know, if you want, and then you're gonna get something called a recovery phrase. A recovery phrase is a list of words that you absolutely must write down. A recovery phrase lets you recover the wallet on a different application, um, you know, if you lose access to it. So if for some reason you lose your phone, your, you know, your assets are still on the blockchain and what you can do is recover the wallet on a different phone or even a different um, application. So for example, you know, MetaMask or something else, as long as it's an Ethereum wallet, you can recover it using these words. Keep these words extremely safe, write them down somewhere that is safe and that the, you know, the paper or whatever won't get damaged in any way. Once you've got all that set up and you've written those words down, you can come to the settings to make sure everything is done correctly. So when you're in the wallet, it should look a little bit like this. You will have nothing in there. Come to the bottom right hand corner. Your profile right here, you can make this public or private. If it's just click on this and go through, make it public means it means people can search for your name and send you coins. If it's private, people can't search for your name in their own app when they're sending coins. Recovery phrase you can see right here. Um, so on Coinbase wallet, you can store a version of your recovery phrase in your iCloud or your Google Cloud account. Now, it's not actually the recovery phrase that is kept on the cloud, but it is an encrypted version of it that is unlocked with a password. So essentially what this does is takes your 12 word phrase and stores it encrypted in the cloud. And then if you reload Coinbase wallet again on a different phone, you can actually, instead of putting in your entire recovery phrase, recover the wallet just with a password, as long as you're using the same iCloud account. So it's a little bit strange. I don't use it because I don't want anything on the cloud at all in terms of my recovery phrase. I have my recovery phrase stored in you know places. Um, so I, I don't want this, but you can turn it on if you want, as long as you, re you know remember a password that will unlock it. So that's like an extra step that you don't actually actually need though. What you can see here is uh, default network as well. It's gonna come on mainnet uh, initially. This is Ethereum mainnet. This is an Ethereum wallet mostly. You can store Bitcoin in here, but it really is mostly for Ethereum and Ethereum ecosystem. But you can see you can actually support other coins in here as well. So Arbitrum is a layer two solution for Ethereum. It's a little bit cheaper. You can use Polygon as well. Optimism is a layer two for Ethereum as well, but you can even transfer Binance Smart Chain coins in here as well and some other networks. So I'm gonna get onto that in a second when we're um, putting some coins in to show you exactly how that works. Um, but that is the default network. It comes with Ethereum and um, you know you can change it later. As you can see, wallet link as well. You can link up your uh, wallet with your Coinbase account if you have one. So if you buy uh, crypto on Coinbase, you can link it up and you can actually see your Coinbase balances in the wallet itself and then transfer them really easily. So um, if you wanna link them up, you can do that there. You can now get some coins in your account and you can transfer them in from your Coinbase directly or from another exchange. So come down to get coins if you don't have any and it says transfer from Coinbase right here and you can see that I've got some balances in the Coinbase centralized exchange because my accounts are linked, it shows me right here. So you can do that or you can just click on receive like this and then choose the coin. So Bitcoin is supported and a bunch of other 
uh, Ethereum based coins. These are ERC20 tokens. Um, so you're going to have to use the Ethereum mainnet here, and that is expensive, but there's no real way around that, unfortunately. Of course, Bitcoin is a little bit cheaper than Ethereum for the most part. But, you know, other supported coins, um, you know, Cardano, Polkadot, you, you won't see them here, right? You can see they're just not supported. So DOT isn't supported. This is a different network, and this is really an Ethereum-based wallet and Ethereum layer too. So, you know, Polkadot, Cardano are just not supported at this time. What you can do is transfer in from another exchange though. So again, come down to get coins and then transfer from elsewhere. Now what this will do essentially is show you uh, your wallet address, right? So if I click on Bitcoin, you can see I have a, a wallet address right here. Uh, there's a QR code. So if, if you have another phone, you can scan this or you can just go share address right here. You can actually copy this, just click on it and it says address copied. Then what you'd have to do is go through to you know, another exchange, right? So if you have uh, another exchange that you use, um, let's just go onto my uh, Binance right here and show you. So if you're in another exchange and you wanna send it over to your Coinbase wallet, just go and copy the, the address from your Coinbase wallet and then click withdraw on another exchange and it says address, that will be your Coinbase wallet address, click withdraw and then you'll obviously have to go through that um, and you do have to pay blockchain fees because this is a decentralized wallet and so that's what you're sending it over. But if you wanna receive, it's either a QR code and you've got your address here. Once you've got a coin in your wallet, it's gonna come up with some different features that you can use. So the one right here is, it says earn interest on your crypto. So if we just click through this, um, now this is gonna be with some Ethereum based stuff. You can't use Bitcoin for this. It's not gonna link up, right? So you can see lend crypto via blockchain smart contracts. Click on understand. Now these are some dApps or some decentralized apps that you can use that are based on the Ethereum network. Basically what happens is that it's gonna allow you to swap the Ethereum or Bitcoin, for example, into another coin to then lend out on DeFi. So you're actually using some of these apps. You don't have to use the app itself. You just kind of invest in the coin it's going to give you a return. So you can see the Curve DAO token actually pays 17%. Obviously, these coins are risky as well when they go up and down in value. So obviously, that takes away from the yield. But you could, for example, own DAI, which is a decentralized stable coin, Binance USD and Tether, which are both stable coins. You can see they yield around 1% or 2% right now. Not a lot, but if you want to swap a coin in, just click on this one, and it says buy or transfer from Coinbase. So that will take you back to the Coinbase centralized exchange. Or you can transfer in... Um, some coins. So if you have Binance USD, you can transfer those in on another exchange and then convert crypto. That will convert the ETH that I've just sent myself into Binance USD and basically lend it out um, and get some yield that we can see right here. So if you want that option, you can do that. Um, but we'll just go over like this and go back to the main page. If you want to send some of your coins out, then really simply just press send and go through that as well. So press send right here, come down to the bottom. You should have a choice of the amount of coins that you have. So click on Ethereum. You can click max right here. You can swap either doing it in ETH or you know US dollar amounts, click max. Click next, it's gonna take you through to that screen again where you just have to preview the, um, you know, the transfer. You have to put in the other person's address. Um, and then do it that way and pay blockchain fees. The other way is just to very simply come up to the top right, click this scan button. It's gonna open your camera. And if they have a QR code that, that you know is their address, just scan the QR code and it's gonna go through with that send. What I'm gonna do now is send some ETH from the ETH mainnet over to Polygon Network. You have to do that within the wallet itself. Coinbase wallet is a little bit strange. So I'll show you what to do here. Basically go to the app and in the middle there's a dApps browser and it's like a four, four squares and then you can open that. So come to the bridge that you want to use. Unfortunately, in a Coinbase wallet, you have to use a bridge. You can't send in coins from another wallet. It's not gonna work. So you need ETH on mainnet, and then you can bridge that over to the other networks that are supported like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Polygon, and some others. So come to the dApps browser up in the top. I'm just on wallet.polygon.technology forward slash bridge, and that's the Polygon bridge. So I can bridge ETH from ETH mainnet over to Polygon. Then what you wanna do is log in. So I've got Coinbase wallet right here. So obviously I'll just click that signature request. You can sign that. Um, and then you should be able to log in with your Coinbase wallet into the Polygon bridge. What you're doing here is essentially sending ETH from the main net over to the Polygon network. And like I said, other networks will have their own bridge. You have to do it within the Coinbase app. Well, you can see right now, it's recognized that I have 0 0.01919 ETH. So you can just obviously put that in to bridge over, 
click the polygon chain and then click transfer. Now that's gonna take five or 10 minutes because of the way that the polygon bridge works. Then after that, what you will have is ETH, but on the polygon network. Why do you wanna do this? Polygon is cheaper. Um, to trade on, it has cheaper fees. And also if you wanna use OpenSea or some other NFT networks that support Polygon as a network, then obviously you're gonna to need to get some uh, coins over to Polygon and this is how you do it. Use the bridge in Coinbase wallet. There's obviously a lot of other ways to do it using browsers as well that you can use, but you can do that, press transfer and it'll take about 10, maybe 10 minutes to go through. Then what you wanna do is actually come over to settings, come to default network and change it to Polygon, right? Because Polygon is a different network than ETH. And so you're gonna to have to use that default network um, to actually you know, use, use Polygon coins. Now what happens also once you've done that is that you can trade those coins in the app. Um, so I'll show you that. So once you have some coins, come over to trade like this and you can trade them. Now you've seen that I put my uh, default network as Polygon, right? So what I can do up here is actually change it as well. So right now to trade the coins, we are actually on the Polygon network and you can see I actually don't have any coins in here because I didn't send that ETH over, right? I didn't want to do that transaction. But if you did, you'd have, you'd have ETH on Polygon right here to trade but I'm gonna switch back to Ethereum, the Ethereum mainnet where my ETH actually is, and then you can see it recognizes my ETH straight away. This is gonna use a decentralized exchange automatically for you, so you don't have to go and use the DAP, but you can choose to switch that into any other coin that is supported, uh, ERC20 coins, right? So there's a million of them, uh, let's say Kronos, for example. So you can just do this exchange within the app. So if you want to actually benefit from lower fees, you can do that on Polygon. But like I said, you have to bridge over the coins first using that bridge. If you wanna use any decentralized applications yourself and you don't wanna you know, use the trade feature, let's say you wanna use Uniswap to trade, you wanna use OpenSea or something like that, just come to the DApps browser, come up and actually you know, click in the URL right here and it's gonna link up, right? Because it's using the uh, OpenSea or the, the Coinbase app as the browser, it's gonna link up your wallets. So whatever app you're in, go to the right top right-hand corner, connect wallet, it's gonna say Coinbase wallet, just click Coinbase wallet and then all of your balances will be able to be used on that application. Whatever it is, you can very easily link it up. The other way, if you're using a browser-based application um, you know, on your your computer, then come up to the top right hand corner and just scan the QR code. So in the top right, it says connect wallet, choose Coinbase wallet as an option. And then it's going to give you basically, you know, it says link up. You can actually just scan the QR code that they give you. And then that links up your mobile phone wallet with the application on the computer. So there's a couple of different ways, but you can get linked up. And once you're linked up, then you can use all the balances in your Coinbase wallet uh, to actually go through and use the applications. If you don't have a Coinbase trading account yet, I'll leave that link in the description. You can go and sign up. Also, if you wanna know more about trading, investing, and crypto in general, I have a total crypto investor course with over 150 videos, and we have private chat groups as well where you can ask questions. I'll leave that linked in the description as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.